हेलो वन दिस इज अजीत ये फ्रॉम इंटरव्यू नेटवर्क वेलकम टू चैनल वन मोर टाइम एंड आज फिर आपके लिए मैं एक ऐसा इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो लेकर के आया हूं जो कि नेट पे या इंटरनेट पे कहीं पे भी अवेलेबल नहीं है गाइस इफ यू आर नेटवर्क इंजीनियर हम सभी स्ट्रगल करते हैं टू नो द एग्जैक्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन आंसर फॉर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एसजीओ बिकॉज जो भी कंटेंट मार्केट में अवेलेबल है या इंटरनेट पे अवेलेबल है दे आर मोस्टली रिलेटेड टू विंडोज दे आर वॉशिंग मशीन कैसे वो माइग्रेट करते हैं डिप्लॉय करते हैं रिलेटेड टू दोज स्टॉफ बट दे इज नथिंग कंटेंट विच यू माइट बी गेटिंग ऑन द इंटरनेट बदे और यूट्यूब और एनी अदर प्लेटफॉर्म जहां पर आपको नेटवर्क इंजीनियर्स के क्वेश्चन जो पुटअप किए जाते हैं उनसे ड्यूरिंग इंटरव्यू वो पूछे जाए सो गाइज आम शो यू आर गोइंग टू लव दिस वीडियो बिकॉज दिस वीडियो इज डिजाइन सच अ वे दैट दैट्स गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी वर्किंग एज ए नेटवर्क इंजीनियर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लोर द क्लाउड इंडस्ट्री स्पेशली दूर एंड वॉन्ट्स टू नो वट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन नॉर्मली आस ड्यूरिंग इंटरव्यू एज ए नेटवर्क इंजीनियर दैन दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू दिस आर वेरी प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपोजर दैट यूल बी गेटिंग लाइक द क्वेश्चन इफ आई गिव इन एग्जाम्पल लाइक वॉट इज वी नेट हाउ इट वर्क वॉट इज सब नेट Uh, how it's different what all protocols that's running in the cloud for the azure and uh, how the communication between uh, vms or the vnets happen and how the on premises devices can mi- migrate once we have the migration then you know the question will be like how to trouble for the slowness issue or the net not working or the vnet not working or vms not working so how you trouble shoot on those issues so with this video as we are starting now as an elbow engineer so our focus is more on the what questions that is going to help you to give you the base and the basic foundation uh, about uh, what exactly the uh, azure uh, in terms of or in the eyes of network engineer okay so guys you need to uh, think from the uh, from the network engineer what questions is normally asked during interview for the microsoft azure okay and uh, this at the end of this video i'm sure you, if you don't have any exposure on the azure in terms of network engineer then you're going to love this video because that's going to help you to create your base once you are, you have your base as your focus is more on the elo engineer in the next video i'm going to share you about how to do the things because that will be the l2 engineer questions where we migrate from what question to the how questions so i'm guys i'm sure you're going to love and enjoy this content and uh, do share your feedback in the comment section so we that we together we can help each other and we can explore this new industry that's called the cloud industry so guys let's start this video now and i'm sure you're going to love and enjoy this content thank you what is azure vnet azure vnet are the fundamental building block of your private network in azure vnets enables you to build complex virtual networks that are similar to on premises networks A VNet is a representation of your own network in the cloud. It is a logical isolation of the Azure cloud dedicated to your subscription. You can use VNets to provision and manage VPNs in Azure and optionally link the VNets with other VNets in Azure or with your on-premises IT infrastructure to create hybrid or cross-premises solutions. Each VNet you create has its own CITR block and can be linked to other vnets and on premises network as long as the CITR blocks do not overlap why do we use vnet vnet enables many types of azure resources such as azure virtual machine to securely communicate with each other the internet and on premises network is vnet is or pass vnet can connect pass and is component together such as web roles in is for front end and virtual machines for back end database that is pass what is the difference between vpn gateway and vnet a vpn gateway is a specific type of vpn get vnet gateway that is used to send traffic between an azure virtual network and on premises location over the public internet you can also use a vpn gateway to send traffic between vnets each vnet can have only one vpn gateway how many subnets can a vnet have in the portal that is azure portal you can define only one subnet when you create a vnet how resources in vnet communicate with internet all resources in a vnet can communicate outbound to the internet by default you can communicate inbound to a resource by 
assigning a public IP address or, or as a public load balancer. You can also use public IP or public load balancer to manage your outbound connection. How we need to communicate between Azure resources. There are three key mechanisms through which Azure resources can communicate. Number one, VNets. Number two, VNet service endpoints. And number three, VNet peering. How VNet communication between on premises resources? You can connect your on premises computer and network to a virtual network using any of the following options. Number one, point to site virtual VPN. Number two, site to site VPN. And number three, Azure Express Route. How you filter network traffic? You can filter network traffic between subnets using any combination of network security groups and network virtual appliances like firewalls, gateways, proxies, and network address translation services. What tool do I use to create a VNet? You can use the following tools to create or configure a VNet. Azure Portal, PowerShell, and Azure CLI. A network configuration file, that is NetCFG, is only used for classic VNets. What address range can I use in my VNets? For private, non-routable address space, they are 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
Yes. Can I add subnet after the vnet is created? Yes. Subnets can be added to vnet at any time as long as the subnet address range is not part of another subnet and there is available space left in the virtual network's address range. Can I modify the size of my subnet after I create it? Yes, you can add, remove, expand or shrink a subnet if there are no VMs or services deployed within it. Can I modify VNet after I created them? Yes, you can add, remove and modify the CIDR block used by a VNet. Can I connect a VNet to another VNet in Azure? Yes, you can connect one VNet to another VNet using either virtual network peering or an Azure VPN gateway. Can I specify DNS server for a VNet? Yes, you can specify DNS server IP address in the VNet settings. The setting is applied as the default DNS server for all VMs in the VNet. Can I modify my DNS server after I, ha I have created the network? Yes, you can change the DNS server list for your VNet at any time. If you change your DNS server list, you need to perform a DHCP lease renewal on all the affected VMs in the VNet for the new DNS settings to take effect. Can I move VM from one subnet to another subnet in a VNet without redeploying? Yes. Can I connect to the internet from a VM in a VNet? Yes, all VMs and cloud services role instances deployed within a VNet can connect to the internet. What is VNet peering? VNet peering or virtual network peering enables you to connect virtual networks. A VNet peering connection between virtual networks enables you to route traffic between them privately through IPv4 addresses. Virtual machines in the peered VNets can communicate with each other as they are within the same network. These virtual networks can be in the same region or in different region also known as global VNet peering. VNet peering connections can also be created across Azure subscriptions. My VNet peering con connection is in initiated state why can't I connect? If your peering connection is in initiated state, this means you have created only one link. A bidirectional link must be created in order to establish a successful connection. My VNet peering connection is in disconnected state. Why can't I create a peering connection? If your VNet peering connection is in, di is in a disconnected state, it means one of the link created was deleted. In order to re-establish a peering connection, you will need to delete the link and recreate it. Can I peer my VNet with a VNet in a different subscription? Yes, you can peer VNet across subscription and across regions. Can I peer two VNet with matching or overlapping address range? No, address space must not overlap to enable VNet peering. Can I peer a VNet to two different VNets with the use remote gateway option? enabled on both the peerings? No, you can only enable the use remote gateway option on one peering to one of the VNets. If I peer VNet A to VNet B and I peer VNet B to VNet C, does that mean VNet A and VNet C are peered? No, transitive peering is not supported. You must peer VNet A and VNet C for this to take place. Are there any bandwidth limitation for peering connection? No, VNet peering, whether local or global, does not impose any bandwidth restrictions. Bandwidth is only limited by the VMs or the compute resources. What is Network Security Group? NSG or Network Security Group contains a list of ACL rules that allow or deny network traffic to subnets, network interface cards, link to subnet or both. When an NSG is connected to a subnet, the ACL rules are for all virtual machines that are located in the subnet. The traffic restrictions to an individual NIC are achieved by li linking the NSC directly to that NIC. How routes will be selected if multiple routes contain the same address prefix? The selection will be based on the following priority. Number one, user defined routes. Number two, BGP routes. And number three, system routes. How do I check my system routes? On command prompt type route print command. 
what is system route azure automatically create system routes and assign the routes to each subnet in a virtual network you can't create system routes nor you can remove system routes but you can override some system routes with custom routes what is the azure traffic manager azure traffic manager is a traffic load balancer that enables users to provide high availability and responsiveness by distributing traffic in an optimal manner across global azure regions it provides multiple autom automatic failover options it helps reduce application downtime it enables the distribution of user traffic across multiple locations it enables users to know where customers are connecting from what will you do to ensure that every time a user logs in they are not asked to re-enter their password as part of the authentication configure azure ad sync to use single sign on you need to ensure that virtual machines remain available while migrating to azure what would be the appropriate service to use express route is it possible to get a public dns or ip address for the azure internal load balancer no azure internal load balancer supports only private ip address what are the deployment environment options provided by azure there are two deployments environments number one is staging environment it is used to validate the changes of an application before making it live and the production environment this is where application go live and can be accessed by target users with a dns friendly url when should you use a static ip address in azure in azure a static ip address is used when the address connected to the device is not to be changed how to create a route table from the azure portal when you select create a resource there select networking and from there select a route table or search for a route table in the portal search box how to create a route in route table select go to resource or search for my route table public in the portal search box and in the my route table public page select routes from the settings section in the route page select plus add button in add routes enter the details how to associate a route table to a subnet search for my virtual network in the portal search box in the my virtual network page select subnets from the settings section in the virtual network subnet list select public in route table select my route table public that you created in the previous steps select save to associate your route table to the public subnet 